There are a number of new build plates on the market. One of them is the CryoGrip Pro series of build plates by BQ. Today we have the textured version, Frostbite, and the non-textured, smooth version called the Glacier. We are going to take a look at them, see what they're all about, and see if they are a PEI build plate replacement. So stay tuned. All that more is coming up here in the Printosaurus. I'm Aaron, and we are going to get right into it. BQ was kind enough to send over both plates that they have available in their cryo grip lineup, and that is the Glacier that I have here in my hand, and then the Frostbite uh, that I have over here. So starting with the Glacier, we're going to run through uh, just some basic information about these plates and their differences. So the Glacier is your smooth textured plate. This one is your universal plate, and what I mean by that is it works with all filament types. Um, we have a nice little chart here that shows you uh, compatibility of the filaments. So check that out. The frostbite plate, the textured version, is only uh, good for PLA and PETG. So keep that in mind uh, when you are looking at these build plates. Both build plates offer a self-recovering surface and uh, BQ markets that as the ability to just kind of wipe these down and they recover uh, to their um, bed adhesion uh, extremes in terms of properties there. I have touched all over these build plates just to test that and not wipe them down. And sure enough, they stick just as well as they did uh, clean. So that's pretty neat uh, because uh, that can extend your maintenance intervals when you're wiping down these plates and whatnot. And uh, hey, sometimes we forget when we're printing, right? So uh, standard temperatures for these, uh, the Glacier for PLA, they recommend 45 to 55 degrees Celsius, so a little bit lower than what you see on your PEI sheet. And then the same goes for PETG, lower than what you would find with a PEI sheet, uh, 60 to 75 degrees Celsius with this plate. This plate does not have a printed AR code. What they do is they offer you stickers and you can select engineering, textured, uh, cool plate, um, as some of your options. They recommend the cool plate. They give you two stickers. These are double-sided. Uh, so I slapped one of the cool plate stickers on each side. And with the X1, it registers uh, fairly well. Probably nine out of 10 times, it detects the build plate without issue. If you have build plate detection enabled, uh, you may find that uh, on the occasion that it didn't register right and you just have to click continue. If it's disabled, it will just push forward and move on with what you selected. So that is the Glacier plate. The textured version is called the Frostbite. Now this plate is only compatible with PLA and PETG. Uh, this one has a printed AR code. That one was hit or miss probably seven out of 10 times. It worked without issue. Uh, the other three, four times, not so much. So again, pay attention to your build plate detection and you may just have to continue on to make sure it prints. Um, this is your strongest adhesion, 10 out of 10 for both PLA and PETG. And I will show you later that this thing really is as advertised when it comes to bed adhesion. Temperatures. PLA, this one is lower than the Glacier. 50 uh, degrees is a high end for PLA. The low end is 30 degrees Celsius. And for PETG, 50 degrees to 70 degrees Celsius. So lower than the Glacier, and then obviously lower than your PEI build plate. Uh, so that kind of covers the basics. Uh, oh, I almost forgot. Soap and water only for this one. If you use any additives, uh, BQ says that it will ruin the surface. So keep that in mind when you're doing your maintenance. Today's video is brought to you by PCBWay, pcbway.com. If you haven't already, jump on their website and take a look. They offer all kinds of services, CNC, sheet metal, uh, 3D printing, and injection molding. So jump on their website, pcbway.com, and check them out. You have a number of options. If you select 3D printing, you can do SLA, resin, FDM. You can select what material you want, how many you may want to print. Uh, so your quantity there, anything you need to do, you can do right on the website, upload your step file, your STL uh, for uh, your CNC or uh, injected molding. So take a look at them, pcbway.com, great service. 
So for today's testing, I am using Voxels PLA Pro and their uh, high-speed uh, PETG. Great filament, check them out at voxelpla.com. Uh, company is great, customer service is good, and they were kind enough to also provide some filament to test, and I have absolutely loved working with it so far. So pick some up if you guys are looking, the holidays are coming up, it's a good time to grab something, right? So we did a number of tests here, uh, one of them being a basic adhesion test. I printed something in vase mode, uh, just a quick print. I wanted to show uh, the differences in adhesion between the PEI, the glacier, and our frostbite here on the end. So all of these plates have been out of the printer for a little while, and typically um, when you do that with a PEI sheet, once it cools down, uh, your part releases fairly easy. Now to show the adhesion differences here, uh, these plates have all been out for about an hour and you saw how easy the PEI sheet comes off. So check this out. So this is the Glacier, which is an eight for PLA adhesion. And you can see here, uh, the bed adhesion is more than what you saw on the PEI sheet. So you can flex this plate a little bit and there you go, a little bit of force to remove. By far the strongest in adhesion. Uh, this one is rated a 10 for PLA and PETG. Those are the only materials, again, that you can use with your uh, frostbite build plate. But to show the significance of the adhesion with this one, I mean, this guy, it does not release easily at all. Uh, again, you can flex this guy to get it off, but it still takes quite a bit of force to remove that build plate. Something I always check with my build plates now, after having a couple plates that did not fit my printers correctly, is I take a standard build plate and simply set it on top and line up with whatever build plate that I'm testing. And what I'm doing here is making sure that the sizes line up. I've had a couple of build plates I've gotten on Amazon and they haven't fit well, and that's caused to you know one corner of the build plate to lift. These are spot on, no issues with either plate, so they pass that fitment test as well. So our second test we did was just a simple uh, full bed uh, first layer test to see what kind of adhesion we got across the bed. Uh, so we'll go ahead and pull these out, take a look. Again, what's great about these plates is the temperature that we printed. So this is the Glacier, this is PLA, and we printed this at 45 degrees Celsius. So it's really almost cool to the touch, not very hot. And first layer looks pretty good. Um, yeah, not bad at all. Uh, there's no spots where it's lifting. Everything seems to be nice and flat. Let's see what kind of adhesion we got here. Not bad, not bad. I used a translucent filament for this one. Uh, so you can kind of kind of see through it. So that's the Glacier. Uh, first layer looks pretty good with that one. And the Frostbite, which is our extreme grip. Uh, another PLA, this is the Voxel PLA and their army green color. And you guys look right there. Overall pretty good, looks like on the backside here towards the corners, um, we got a little bit of adhesion uh, lifting, uh, but overall, uh, probably 98% of the plate looks pretty good. So we will explore that a little bit more to see what's going on. And this is something that I, look at that adhesion. Ten out of ten for adhesion for sure. So there you go. First layer looks pretty good, and then here I don't know if you guys can really see that, but just right here I'll do a close up. A little bit of lift, not much, but just enough to kind of mess up that top layer there. All in all, not bad. Um, I've seen much worse, uh, but the uh, bed itself uh, extremely grippy. Uh, very good bed adhesion. 
So that's that test, that's the first layer. All right, so our last test that we did today was this gingerbread house. And why I picked that is because of the multiple flat surfaces. So I have a very large base here um, that is about a half inch thick. And we printed this on the frostbite build plate and it came out nice and flat, no warpage, no issues there, which is nice to see. Um, the glacier, I printed the, the roof pieces. Uh, these all came out. Uh, all flat, no issues. Uh, another reason why I picked uh, this gingerbread house is it's got all these registration points where things click together. And if there was any warpage or anything like that, uh, it doesn't go together well. I actually started this on my PEI build plate and uh, I didn't clean it and it hasn't been cleaned in a while. That's definitely my fault. Um, and uh, I had some warpage there, uh, some corners and whatnot, and I couldn't get some of the pieces to stick together. So I ended up having to glue them. Uh, with uh, the glacier plate, uh, I didn't have any of those issues and I have not cleaned this thing. I have touched all over this. Uh, these have that self recovering uh, coating or whatever you wanna call it uh, that BQ mentions in their advertisement. And sure enough, you can just kind of wipe these things down and you're good to go. I haven't had any issues with needing to really uh, overly clean these build plates so far. But, yeah, gingerbread house turned out nice. Uh, very impressed with these plates. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's kind of the end of our testing. We're gonna jump into uh, what we think about these. We've ran through our testing. Now it's time to figure out which plate uh, do we like and is it a replacement to our tried and true PEI plate? So the glacier plate uh, is the universal plate. So if you are looking at using it with other filaments, this is your only option. Um, you know, PLA, PETG, uh, and then some is what this plate is good for. Eight uh, in terms of adhesion for both PLA and PETG. So, you know, this would really be the go-to plate there. The adhesion properties are better than PEI. Uh, you can print at a lower bed temperature. Uh, things turn out nicely there. Um, so that is really the deal with the Glacier build plate, and that's a smooth texture. Now, if you need something extreme and you're only using PLA and PETG, then the frostbite might be a good option for you uh, because it is only uh, usable with those two filament types. Significantly stronger build adhesion or build plate adhesion than the PEI plate. Now, which one would I choose? Uh, I think I would probably go right in the middle uh, with the Glacier because I really do love uh, the adhesion properties of the PEI plate. Things come off of it nicely. Things are a little bit harder, especially with smaller prints to get off of these build plates. Uh, frostbite is way extreme there. And uh, overall, I think even the texture of the glacier is closer and not quite as aggressive as the frostbite. So for me, I'm going with uh, the glacier build plate for now. Uh, I am going to run these in both of my X1 printers for the time being, and I will continue to test and let you know what I think. I will also continue to refine those print profiles, see what we can really come up with, but I wanted to get something out, let you know the initial thoughts with these build plates, and if they're worthwhile, uh, I think they are. I think it's a great technology. Uh, build plates are always advancing, and this is one of the advancements that could benefit uh, you and keep you from having uh, failed prints. Um, and it's more forgiving when it comes to maintenance with that kind of recovered surface. So thanks for watching everybody. I appreciate it. Comment below. Let me know what plate you ended up going with and let me know what you guys are printing with it and what you think. And we will continue to test these together and uh, I will get all those inputs in the next video when we revisit this plate and the frostbite. Uh, but thanks for watching again and uh, please comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.